Hello, this is Pramod Pore. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how we can host a static website using Firebase for free. First of all, let me show you the website I have created on my machine. Here you can see the site. Let's go to firebase.google.com. Click on go to console. If you are not logged in, use Google account or create one and then proceed. Click on create a project and give that project a name. You can turn off the Google Analytics if you don't want to get analytics report about your website. While project is being created, let's download Node.js because we are going to need npm to install Firebase on our machine. I have already installed it. So you guys go ahead and install. After installation, go to the Firebase console and click on continue after project is ready. In the home page you will see like this. Now click on this web icon which means we are going to use Firebase for web app. Give an app a name and then you will get SDK. Copy the script provided and paste in your HTML file. After doing it, get back to Firebase website and click on continue to console. In the sidebar, there is a hosting tab which we are going to use for hosting. Click on that and click on get started. Now we need to install Firebase CLI in our machine. So open command prompt or any terminal you have and type the command provided by Firebase which is npm install dash c firebase dash tools. It is going to take some time for the installation. After installation, we have to initialize the project. Type command Firebase login and login with your account you have used to create Firebase project. Before initialization, we need to move every file into another folder. You can name the folder anything you like, but I am going to name it public. Now in command go to the directory where your previously created folder is. You can use cd folder name to change the directory. Now type command firebase init in it and press enter. Type y for are you ready to proceed. Then go to the hosting using down arrow and press space to select it and press enter. Then press enter on use an existing project. Then select the project you have created on firebase. In the next question you have to change the name of folder if you have different name. If it is public press enter. Type and for configure for single phase. Type and for next question also because we don't want to overwrite the file. Firebase initialization has been completed. Now type command firebase deploy. Now go to firebase console and in the hosting section you will see the link to the site. In order to connect your domain to your site, click on connect domain and enter your domain name then verify the domain by adding txt record on your domain name. If your domain register app DNS management tool add from there, if not use Cloudflare. After verifying ownership, Firebase will tell us to add A records, add those A records for your domain name. After that, you can check your website using your own domain name. If you want to connect www.softdomain2, you can use the same method like previously. 
it is going to take some time for domain to point to the new server after some time my domain started pointing to the new server and you can see that i can assess my site using own domain name too if you have any problem while hosting on firebase let me know in the comment below if it was helpful don't forget to give a like stay tuned for next video thanks for watching